Hey guys, today's the day that the new engine goes into the S10. Um, I'm sure you're thinking, well, it's already in there. Well, it is in here, but I'm just test fitting it. You can see there's no transmission hooked up to it yet. I'm going to put it in here all at one, as a one unit. But I've had to trim the motor mounts a little bit to make them fit. Still got a little bit more trimming to do. But I'm getting ready to take it out and hook the transmission up to it and get it put back in. I need to take the steering shaft out so I can make room for the header on the driver's side. I just test fit the passenger side header, which I already took it back out, but it fits perfect. So everything's looking good. So I'm going to pull this bad boy back out and hook up the transmission to it and get her back in. Alright guys, so I got the 33 in the truck now and put the regulator on there, the carb, the nitrous plate, and a few other things, distributor cap. A couple of things I had an issue with was the motor plate on this side. I found it a lot easier to have it off when installing the motor. You can see right there I scratched the top of the pad trying to get it in so I just took it off and then put it on once the motor was in place. I got a jack stand holding up the back of the transmission until I get a cross member built. Um, I did put the engine and trans in as one unit so if anybody tells you it's not possible they lie. Um, I test fit the passenger side header it fits good I have not test fit the driver side yet because I still got to take the steering shaft out and the valve cover on the driver's side doesn't fit because there is a bolt coming through the firewall back here right there and it's hitting the valve cover so I gotta get in there and cut the head of that bolt off and uh, I think that's it I'm gonna put the front clip on it I probably won't do a whole lot of work to it today so I'm gonna put the front clip back on in the hood so the motor is protected from the elements and uh, probably plug up these holes and stuff that's why I put these old cheap spark plugs in there try to cover all the holes up so no little bugs can get in there and that'll be it for this video kind of a short update but uh, I was busy working yesterday on this so uh, I didn't really record a whole lot but I'm happy that the motors in there uh, hopefully in a couple more weeks I'll have it running so thanks for watching guys please like share comment and subscribe